Northrop Grumman has also responded to the Army's request to digitize the cockpit in the Blackhawk UH-60L model. So right now there's an analog cockpit in the UH-60L. We have the ability to pull that cockpit out and put in a, a digitized, complete avionics suite. And the benefit of doing that is to be able to utilize all of those L model airplanes that are in Army inventory and upgrade them to a digital capability. So a glass cockpit with a next generation mission computer. Um, we offer the exact same uh, feel and look as the UH-60M model, which is extremely important to the Army. Think of the cost savings associated with training and performance when you now have an L model that looks and flies like an M model. So the offering that you see behind me for this cockpit uh, is the Northrop Grumman offering for the L digitization program and we believe that it is an excellent solution for the U.S. Army as they go to look the, to upgrade their um, L models from an analog to a digital cockpit. One of the things we're doing at Northrop Grumman is making sure that, that we're increasing the capability on Army aircraft, both in executing a mission, survivability, affordability, and open architecture. One of the things we're doing is trying to get more protection, and less weight on a helicopter. And one of the ways you can do that is through creating a multispectral sensor. So you replace many sensors on an airplane with just one sensor. An example of this is our ATW, or Advanced Threat Warner. Typically, we would just be doing mission uh, missile warning with this particular sensor, but this next generation technology enables us to do four missions inside one sensor. So if you think about it, we have the ability to remove two or three systems from a helicopter and replace it with just a single system. Northrop Grumman is also in the middle of a uh, competition for the Kirkham program for the Army. So the, the Kirkham is the common infrared countermeasure system for the Army to put a directed infrared countermeasure system on their helicopters. We're finishing up the TD phase. We have a modular open system architecture that enables us to take the best capabilities of industry partners and put that into a solution for the Army. Now that's important for a couple of reasons. One, we get to leverage the technologies that are out there today. And the second thing is, as, tech, as threats emerge in the future, we have the ability to upgrade and enhance this system so that we're protecting our customers' investment. They don't have to replace their entire system. We have the ability to upgrade and enhance the capability. So, open system architecture from the laser perspective, uh, currently being provided to us by Daylight Systems Solution in California, open architecture from the Jamhead, Celex Galileo in Edinburgh in the UK, and then our ability to mix and match capabilities across the different LRUs and the algorithms that are being used. All of these systems can be combined. Their information can be provided to a central location for an integrated aircraft survivability suite where we can take the information from each of these sensors, fuse them into a current location, and provide an unambiguous set of information to the pilot so that they have more time to execute their mission and don't have to spend as much try time trying to figure out what the specific threat is that they're flying into. Really enhances their mission capability and survivability of the pilot and the airplane.